if what they say is true, you should be prepping and getting prepared now. That's today's video. Next, here on Survival Preparedness for Beginners. So if what they say is true, and all this stuff is taking place and everything else, and you're not prepared, you're gonna be left behind, and you're not gonna be taken care of because they're not gonna come and help you, and they are the government, all right? They're not gonna be there to hold your hand and walk you through these trying times that are coming in the foreseeable future. The writing is on the wall, folks. We have to be prepared. We have to do what we can for our families and for the security of our families. We have to make sure that we are the ones that are making the calls. We have to make sure that we are doing everything possible. We need to be putting up food. We need to be putting up medical supplies. We need to be making sure that if the grid goes down, we have brownouts, we have anything. We have some way to cook, some way that we can generate heat and survive. You see folks, the problem with the whole equation of what is taking place today is there's too many things that are going on at one time. We're not just dealing with one little thing here, one battle if you want to put it that way here. Okay, we're dealing with multiple battles on the front here and we're pushing out men and we're pushing out and we're trying to put out a fire here and put a fire out there and the next thing you know we got two more fires coming up behind us and everything else. Every time we turn around there's something else that is going on. Now whether you call that the book of revelations or whatever however you want to look at it. The whole point of this is you have to be prepared for the unknown that is coming within the next months ahead of us. Mega droughts, lack of fertilizer, high gas prices, high diesel prices. The truckers are already starting to say, you know what, food, we almost had enough. You know, we can't afford to do this anymore. And we're going to start parking the rigs. We're already 85, 90,000 drivers short and the numbers are growing on a daily basis. Plain and simple folks, the writing's on the wall. The perfect storm is brewing. Are you prepared? If what they tell on us is true, then you need to be prepared. Because folks, let's just face the facts. Do you really actually think that the government is going to sit back and tell us the truth. Do you really think that the government is going to sit there and say, look, you know, these things are all happening. There's nothing we can do because we really just don't want to, because you know what? We really just don't care. And you're on your own. Once it's too late for you to be prepared. You see, it's one thing that these, um, people in Washington do not like as preppers. And the reason for that is, is because they know that they're looking through all the smoke and the mirrors and all the BS and everything else. And they're just like, um, no, this doesn't make sense. You see, that's why a lot of people sit back and they think, you know, because you're a prepper, you're crazy. Maybe so. But one has to ask themselves, is it better to be crazy and be prepared than be crazy and not be prepared? And then when you have your hand out to the ones that you think are going to be there and they turn their back and walk away, who is the crazy one? now. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I'd like to thank all of you for joining me on this quick little video today. We need to be prepared because if what they're telling us is the truth, and I have a very, very, 
very hard feeling about what is really the truth nowadays because it seems to be that we can't get the truth from anybody they all have their own spins if you get what I'm saying they all have their own ways that they want to do things they just all of a sudden evolve and we're supposed to believe all that kind of stuff and that's not how this really works now is it folks you need to really be thinking about what you're going to do for you and your family if what they are saying is true we're already seeing it all everything is coming to pass the storms are moving in from all sides and unless you're prepared and ready it's going to be a long hard cold winter so until next time folks i'll catch you all on the flip side